to have a film like Mulan, even the animated and the live action um, out of the world today? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think I started in 1953, you know, and, and luckily got onto the Groucho Marx show, and then, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, right, wow. probably, probably the only living actor uh, that has ever worked with um, Groucho Marx, you know? yeah. Yeah. and so, so uh, yeah, and, uh, and luckily I did all those impersonations on his show. And right away, you know, the Asian picked me up and put me in the movie. But I, I was actually studying and graduating from USC to become a civil engineer. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, like all of you who love show business so much, you just gave up the other career and uh, <laughs> I became an actor. But however, in the, all those movies I, I did in the early part of my career, they were all what I would say, gimmick roles. They put it in there because they needed a so-called Chinaman or like a kid uh, to be rescued by the, the white guys. And it was a gun smoke or a hat gun or a I don't care what it is, you know. In fact, it was in a Disney film, uh, the original black and white Zorro, uh, that, 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 that I was a, a prince in the jail. Uh, and this, this big armored big guy in Zorro come and talk to me in the jail and rest me, black and white, in my room. So uh, back in those days, there were no roles that were so-called non-cliché. So mm -hmm. it was tough. Uh, I, you know, we wanted to do something to tell the Asian girl, get me a, a, a regular role as an American citizen, a, a, you know, a man or a, a young man that needed in society because he is an American Asian. And no, the, the whole industry didn't pay any attention. So I got together with Mako in my little basement. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right, some of you can remember Mako. And, uh, and uh, you know, he said, well, yeah, we gotta do something, you know, something. Uh, we can't be just in this, in this niche, in this uh, slot of being just a yellow face. Mm -hmm. So he suggested we do a theater he's called Rasho Man. Uh, and he's very good at that. I, I wish we could take that down. He was yeah. so good. And he um, and got, got good reviews. And then, at the beginning, small seed in, in the soil. Says, oh, the Asian uh, American actors can, can act, you know, other than those little um, so-called the Japanese roles and Chinese roles as uh, the villain or the chief that's being rescued. That, slowly, slowly got to where it is now. You know, thousands of people come through there and graduates have gotten good roles and, you know, and uh, these West players offer many, many organizations that I, I joined to fight for the rights of the Asian American actors. And then look at it now, you know. Here I am, 91, and I see now the problems of uh, uh, that movie. You know, crazy rich American, uh, Asians, and, you know, all these um, uh, farewell and the Korean actors are, are joining in with their Academy Awards. So you can see it blossoming and it's going to explode. It's going to explode in the next uh, few years. Uh, no doubt about it, you know, because Korea, Japan, China, with all their films and this new line now starts a whole new movement now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's going to start out, uh, uh, the people, the, the writers will look for scripts to, to do this kind of production and produce this world too. You know, I hope everybody looking at this uh, 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 program will go see it so that, you know, people uh, will know that such films can be successful. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, that was emotional. That was an emotional, I, 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 it, it, yeah, it, it's just, James, so it blows my mind you're 91. What the I know, hell? you look 30. Holy moly. I hope I have your <laughs> energy. I swear. I know, me too. When you said that, I was just like, what? Really? <laughs> I had to clock that a little bit. Wow. Well, well also, James, you know, uh, you know, Daniel <laughs> Day Kim recently, there was this very vocal campaign of, you know, getting, getting a star for you on the Hollywood, I mean, Hollywood Walk of Fame, and Having someone do that for you, or just having that, you know, kind of support and this kind of 
bolstering from the community. What does that mean to you? Well, it, it happened so suddenly, I, I didn't know what was going on because all of a sudden I think my daughter told me, hey, I, I, I think there's an actor named Danny J. King on, uh, you know, on that Youth Funded or whatever, you know. Yeah, so funny. Funny. Yes. yeah, I said, well, what's the, I don't want to lower myself and take the money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I, I called him and uh, he says, uh, and at that time, and I think it was two days after he started, I didn't know he started, he says, oh, I, I sent you an email telling you so. I, I, I look in the trash and that was, <laughs> uh, you know, and at that time he already had, I think, 18,000 as a picture. No, know. really, James, that, that's how much, you know, your fan base and the Asian community or any community, I think, the, the, just your fans, I don't even think they have to be Asian, they love you yeah. that much. Literally, the, the money that was needed what was raised in, I, I would say, like That's five days. No, yeah, or, three or, days. Or, yeah, three, three days, days and three yeah. days. It, it, yes, you know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Daniel, and Daniel it was fantastic. He just, like, put the feelers out to all of us and wanted us to, you know, post it, retweet it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, donate it. And it, that comes to us. Okay. I'm going to go off of what Ming Nong was saying, it's like when I wrote a story about it, and, you know, yeah, it's, the Asian community was there, but like Ming Nong said, it was everyone, like, black, white, you know, Latino, and everyone was like, oh, why doesn't this man have a star already? So, yeah. Well, uh, it's for everybody, for all of you, you know, Ming Nong, and every, there's so many talented Asian, American Asians that deserve the star. But a lot of my friends, you know, have dropped out of the profession because there's no roles, you know. Mm. And now there seems to be a few more, but there's still a long, long ways to go. You know? mm. However, as far as the stars, I don't have the stars yet. <laughs> uh, we have the 55,000, but it's just sitting there waiting, I think, in May or June uh, for the Chamber of Commerce of Hollywood to say, well, should we give him a star? Or, uh, oh, I, we'll pick it. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go out there. We'll go out there and take it. Yeah, we will. Oh, wow. We're there for you, James. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think, That's you know... That's got to happen. That's going to happen. We'll, yeah. we'll have to do some kind of an announcement during that time to the Chamber of Commerce and say, hey, Hollywood, pay some attention, you know? I, I'm here. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just by the breadth of his work alone. Come on yeah. now, Hollywood. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, so um, however, the, um, something may, may, a good may also come from this is that the um, Guinness Book of Records is going to put me in there, I think. Wow. If they, uh, as the guy with the most uh, credits, you know, 600. I'll That's put it there. That's so good. That so, is so, so good. Wow. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you, man. Yeah. So, so yeah. Ben, you're an you're iPhone. Here I? <laughs> um, but you know, we're kind of uh, running down here a little bit, uh, but I, I, I do want to ask, you know, what are you, what, this is for everyone, what are you most excited for audiences to experience when they see uh, Mulan and what kind of message?